Good morning, friends. How are you? Greetings from the Philippines. Oh, today we're got, we have another topic. We're going to formulate another concoction. Okay, we we will call it EM five. I'm drinking lemongrass tea. I bought lemongrass and then uh, boil it. So that is my tea. Very good for detox. I hope you enjoyed our past videos. We made uh, calcium phosphate, right? It's a very good, effective, you know, apids infestation control. For today, we're going to formulate EM5. It's an EMAS fermented with vinegar and distilled spirits, okay? It is a very good uh, insect and pest repellent. So let's start. So EM5 is just like a special EMAS. It's just that it has more organic acids and esters because of the ingredients that we're going to put there usage you can spray the dilution on the leaves as an insect and disease repellent all right so it will solve many of our problems you can also use em5 similar to emas to be used for animal husbandry to control you know foul odor, okay, bad odor in your pens, in your coops, and so on and so forth, all right? So those are the two primary uses of EM5. So these are our materials, okay? If you want to formulate a 20 liter bucket um, solution, so 60% of that will be water. Now always remember our guidelines for water, no chlorine, okay? Uh, because chlorine kills bacteria and of course we have good bacteria in our emas and emas two liters all right so click the link below if you haven't watched yet on how to formulate emas molasses two liters as well vinegar two liters now vinegar do not use the the substitute okay the, uh, the one that we have in the supermarket the substitute uh, those are chemically you know, com you know formulated use the natural vinegar either cocoa vinegar from coconut or cane vinegar from sugar cane uh, there is another natural vinegar available in our supermarkets in nairobi it's called uh, apple cider okay natural vinegar but it's quite expensive. But uh, yeah, you can use that one as well. For distilled spirits, uh, you can use Kenya cane, all right, Kenya cane, or any other cheaper distilled spirit available in, in, in Kenya, all right? So two liters as well. All right, additional in materials that we need neem leaves, one kg, chili. Okay, half kg, garlic, at least three bulbs, and marigold, half kg, right? And then uh, other plants that can be used, onion leaves, okay? Lemongrass. Now, and, and discover other repellent plant from your farms, by the way. Papaya leaves, it's a very good insect repellent as well. What you can do is... You go around your farm and look for plants wherein there are no pests, okay? Look at the, observe, observe the leaves and there are no insects, no worms, okay? The reason being is that, you know, those plants or these plants have a natural insect repellent properties. And observe papaya leaves, okay? Observe papaya leaves. Uh, seldom you see insects or worms that eating papaya leaves. So means to say there is something in papaya leaves that we don't like. All right. 
So the formulation, the preparation is very easy. Just put all of them together in a container. All right. So let's do the steps for preparation. Step one, mix all the liquid ingredients in a 20 liter bucket, right? And then step two, add the chopped chili, marigold, and neem leaves. And then also the other ingredients if you have, all right? So the most important is you follow the formulation or the composition of the four major ingredients and then just add the other ingredients. Or you can substitute them with the other ingredients if you don't have them. And then step three, maintain an airtight condition and ferment for two weeks. So we're going to ferment this anaerobically, all right? And then keep it in an area without direct sunlight. So store them in a dark, cool area, room temperature, all right? So during fermentation, always place the container in a warm place, right? Loosen the cover or the cup to release gas generated a few times during the ferment fermentation process, okay? Because gas will be generated during this process. Something like that, okay? Just a few seconds and then uh, cover once again. So check the quality of your EM5 after two weeks. Uh, pH should be below four, ideally 3.5. Smell should be sweet, sour fermentation smell. Any unpleasant smell means it's a failure. You have to discard one. Color from dark brown because of the molasses into a lighter brown. And gas form formation will normally stop after fermentation. All right, and how do you store EM5? Keep in the container a cool, dark place. No direct sunlight. Use EM5 within three months because otherwise, uh, after three months, it's not that it's expired. It's just that the uh, microbe activity has gone down. White flakes or molds uh, may, be, may form on the surface, okay? These flakes are harmless and do not affect the quality. In fact, they are the good bacteria, okay? So what are the applications? So for low concentration solution, one is to 500 or one is to 1,000 ml. So for every one liter, you can use two ml or one ml only. So you can use it regularly, no harm. It will enhance the resistance to disease and pests. Remember, what we do in organic farming, it's more of prevention rather than cure. All right? So to in, in enhance the resistance of our plants to diseases and pests, regularly, you know, spray EM, EM5. All right? For high concentration solution, 1 is to 100. Mean to say, for every 1 liter, you put 10 ml. It will suppress disease and pests in early phase of infection, all right? So too high concentration solution can also damage the leaves of your plants. So be very uh, cautious as well in uh, increasing the concentration. Once EM5 is diluted with water, it should be used within a day, all right? Otherwise, it will be subject, it will be prone to contamination. So if you have any questions, don't forget to drop me a message below and uh, I will give you my email address so that now you can, I can also, you can also email me, all right? So if you are new to this channel, so I have changed the brand of this channel. Uh, the brand now is Freddy's Farm, all right? So that's the new brand for this channel. But the same, all the videos that we have uploaded are still available, all right? So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that every time we have a new video you will be notified immediately and don't forget also to like and share so that's it uh, i hope you learned something again today and good luck to all of us in our organic farming adventures okay and ventures so enjoy the rest of your day and may god bless us